I wouldn't say that my identity has changed since we last interviewed, but um, most definitely has, uh, I guess, been spruced up to really uh, like show who I am. Um, as, a, as, as anyone knows, I mean, if you Google Black Boricua, you will see me um, because I strongly identify as a Black Boricua. Um, but I felt like uh, it wasn't enough because I think a lot of people don't kind of uh, think of Boricua as a Taino heritage. And so um, in order to kind of feel more connected to my Taino heritage and for uh, folks to... Um, know that that's a part of my history, being black and um, um, being Puerto Rican or Borinquen and um, identifying myself as Boricua as when Tainos were a part of Borinquen before it was Puerto Rico. Um, Two-spirit has been an identity for me that I have taken on and it really um, connects with me in a lot of ways and my fluid identity but also strongly connects to my native um, identity as well. So it is, um, I am a black Boricua Taino, two-spirit um, individual, so. Hmm. My relationship to porn, I, I don't think it has changed. I, I haven't done much shoots, but it's interesting because I'm here in California now and I'm, I'm gonna be doing three shoots out here. So I'm, like I haven't done it in a while and now I'm just jumping head first in it, I missed it. Um, so it hasn't really, um, changed uh, so i wish it would happen more but everything happens in california so i have to be here in order to do it most times uh, or do it myself so that's not happening anytime soon so yeah I, I don't even know if i mentioned this the last time i got interviewed um but um it, these have been my goals for a while but you know lack of funds and time um, really kind of uh, become a a blockade for me doing these things but um, future projects have been um, finishing the book that I have been threatening to write for several years now. Um, there are several books, actually. Uh, uh, one about um, a new book on a different take on polyamory, um, and of course very specific to race, class, and gender. And uh, one book um, called uh, This Ain't the Love Boat, which focuses on, um, it's like a kind of... Um, kind of demystifying, or I should say, uh, looking at uh, love, the myth of love at first sight and happily ever after. I'm really talking about relationships and how we have structured them and how, um, in my opinion, need to be structuring them. Um, and uh, also a book of short essays and poetry about um, my sex, so it's called Sexual Relations. So that's in terms of the writing piece, um, film, for the last several years, I've been trying to um, continue with my project, Shades of Kink. I did um, interviews in San Francisco, New York, Berlin, um, uh, South Africa, a lot of different places, London, um, and filmed uh, different folks, trans-identified people, lots of people of color, um, and interviewing them about how um, how politics is or isn't inserted into kink and why that's important. Um, talking about racism, classism, and transphobia within kink. Um, so that project is a huge project which needs lots of money or lots of people who want to work for free uh, <laughs> to help me out. Um, but that's that's my that's like my brainchild. That's something that's probably going to take a couple years to complete. But I hope. Um, that it could happen. Um, it's a, I think it's a project that needs to be out there. And um, what else? And performance. I'm, I'm always doing performance stuff. So there's a play I'm trying to write. Um, it's called, or I have been writing, called Impostures, and it's about the future, the future um, state of, uh, I guess, the future of trans identity or trans people in this country, what that would look like. Uh, and other short performances that I've been working on, so not much. Yeah, not, not much. much. At all. I really don't do much, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, <laughs> um, the last time we spoke, I think, I was just starting and venturing out in my new blog. So I've been blogging, and my blog is um, What They Said, and it's through my website. 
Polly Patel Productions. So I've been posting a lot of stuff up there, which has been really good. Uh, and I hope to continue with my blog as well. Hmm. My personal sex life and sex capades comparatively to porn, it doesn't change it. You know, it doesn't change it. So I haven't had um, that much going on in the relationship sex arena. And I think it's because I've been really on it like a year long, like um, centering, meditative, you know, um, just working on myself, mental health um, stuff, which has been excellent. Uh, and I have, you know, some really awesome fuck buddies and people in my life that um, are really wonderful to be intimate with. Um, but um, regardless if I'm having lots of sex or no sex, it doesn't change the my relationship to doing porn. Um, I love it. You know, I love doing porn. I think it's a it's a very liberating and freeing thing for me. Um, I'm very free for me specifically. Um, um, and I think I've said this before as a survivor and also as a person who identifies as trans and um, and has not um, had my body altered. And, and every time I say that, I say um, that it, there is a privilege in that, um, not having my body altered, but feeling really good that I am still viewed um, and respect it as a trans uh, genderqueer um, performer in that, in, you know, in that respect. So I'm pretty happy about that. And just to show um, different people that trans really incorporates so many um, ways of being. So I'm just one of them. And so I'm happy to be a part of that and um, yeah, and be acknowledged actually and be visible. It's a combination of things, what's been really hot and exciting to me. Um, it has definitely been intensity, and I know that's huge. That's like really an umbrella term, but intensity has been really awesome for me, whether it is, um, I'm really into, and um, I, I guess I made up the term, because I did a workshop on it, um, compression play. I'm really into compression play when you use your own body. Not that people haven't done it, but I just named it this. Um, when people use their own body and their body weight to um, push on points on someone, on their chest, on, your, on their thighs and stuff. And it's really intense because a lot of it is uh, really intense eye contact and um, breath. Um, I really like that. And I am, I've really come to the conclusion that um, my sex is completely intertwined with um, impact play or, or, and or kink and without it, it, it can happen without it for a little while, but there comes a point where um, it just can't happen for me like that anymore. I need to choke someone or punch them or they need to punch me or choke me or, or call me names. I need to call them names. You know, somebody needs to cry or something like, yeah, that that's hot to me. That's like the ultimate hot shit for me. <laughs>